face out the system. Empower yourself. Grow food at home. Hey everyone, welcome to the Grow Food at Home podcast, episode six. I'm your host, Jack Sanquist. And today we are going to be discussing gratitude. And I think it totally applies to, uh, to growing food at home because the more I get into gardening and uh, go into nature, the more grateful I become. And uh, I believe that gratitude, an attitude of gratitude, leads to happiness. It's as simple as that. If we focus on what we have instead of what's missing, we are happy. And uh, don't all of us just want to be happy at the end of the day? So I really, really want to uh, um, focus in on gratitude today. Um, I know what a, uh, a difference it's made in my life when I really just started to uh, get perspective on what's going on out here and how, and how blessed I am at the end of the day. You know, growing up, I'm sure a lot of you can relate to this. Um, at least for me growing up, I didn't really have an understanding of how... Uh, how good I had it, or just the fact that I was even blessed with life out on this earth, and uh, and that um, and that fe- and that and that uh, feeling of entitlement is just super toxic and and totally uh, and, and totally you know it it, ta- it steals our happiness and our joy because we we uh, we don't um, we lose gratitude. So it's just. It's really as simple as that. So I just wanted to bring this um, to our attention today because I try to remind myself every day what I'm grateful for um, to you know just get me on the right track. So I would invite you guys, let's just take a second and think about three things you're grateful for. Right now, I'll do it with you. It could be you know that I have good health in this moment, that you know I'm safe in this moment, maybe. You still have your job with everything going on right now. People are losing their job. Maybe you still have your job. Maybe you have a beautiful partner that totally loves you and supports you no matter what. Maybe you have an amazing support network. Maybe you're young and you have many, many years ahead of you. And maybe you're old and you've had such beautiful experiences and and you're 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 super worldly and and and, and have an amazing wisdom that you could share with others. Try to think of three things. Really feel it. You know, you really know when you're grateful, when you're thinking about what you're grateful for, and you just start smiling. So yeah, keep thinking. What, 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 what in your life just totally is like an amazing blessing that we sometimes overlook? but we want to uh, appreciate. Cool. Yeah. I know I have so many blessings in my life, and I mean, I really want to acknowledge them. Um, Yeah, so beautiful. Yeah, so I mean, I think think with what's going on and with all this uncertainty in the world right now, the whole coronavirus scares is uh, happening around the whole world. And I think people are really freaked out. And um, I think if we bring it back to what's important, you know, I'm seeing, I'm seeing, I'm seeing all these kids like play in the streets. Like people are running now more than ever. People are eating better now more than ever. Like families are 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 connecting more now than than ever. Like I think there's a lot of positives that are going on too. Um, you know, so 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 let's try to shift our focus. You know, a lot of people are focusing on the the negative going on, but I I really want I think if we if we shift our focus to the uh, to the beautiful blessings we have, I mean, we could have a happier day today. So, yeah, I mean, this really hits home for me. I guess I'll go deep and and personal because this is my podcast. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like I guess of uh, you know for around four years ago now, um, I almost died. I almost uh, like drank myself to death, if I'm being real with you. And and uh, it was uh, I I almost I almost stopped, I stopped breathing. They took me to the hospital. I was just 
literally uh that was about to be it it was just a friday night after work it was another night i was was at 23 and um yeah i just i uh I I went into a coma for a couple of days and they didn't even know if I'd come out of it and they didn't even know if I'd come out of it normal with 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 you know like with that with zero brain damage it was super serious and um I I remember waking up and they were taking the intubator out of me there was like this device in my throat that opens it up so I could keep breathing throughout this uh like what was going on it was called acute respiratory syndrome so in short, I, I, I pretty much almost died. And, um, and I woke up to my family around me, freaked out. I could feel the energy. They were just like, they didn't know what was going to happen. And uh, I survived. And I'm here and, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm, <laughs> I'm blessed. I'm like literally living on borrowed time. It's not, I, I shouldn't even be here, you know? And I really, I try to live every single day as if like I'm I'm so not deserving I need to just serve I need to just like have live to my fullest potential because who am I to not do that with this extra time I've been given and it's like and what's amazing is I mean I'm so lucky that like I I I I realized that and I I had that experience like I'm grateful for that experience of like hitting that low of like I literally had nothing going for me. <laughs> it was insane. Like I literally had no money. I couldn't fill up my gas tank. I had, I would push everyone away from me who loved me. I was just in a dark, dark place. And uh, I was self-sabotaging hard. And um, I'm so, so lucky it didn't take me out. And I'm grateful for that experience because now I could offer so much to people around me because of my presence. You know, when we're thinking about ourselves all day long, that's how I used that. Like in in those years, kind of, you know, I was still, I was still, I I was still doing my thing, but I was definitely um, self sabotaging is the word, and not um, living very consciously. You know, as I as I would have liked. So um, yeah, and it almost took me out and. You know, and I realized looking back, the more we think about ourselves and our problems and um and 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 how like bad we have it really. The opposite of gratitude, right? What's missing? What you know, people who are wronging us or whatever, you know, our boss is a fucking whatever. Like we're we're in our own shit, right? We we can't be there for others. We're in our heads, we're thinking about ourselves, we're not present. And it's so beautiful when you break free of that and you just are fucking at peace with where you're at in this world and that it's okay and that we have so much to be grateful for. There's there's nothing to even dwell on. It opens us up and we could be totally present and we could actually contribute to those around us in every single moment. So it's it's a beautiful thing when when you could break free out of that and I'm just super, super blessed that... uh that I had that experience and I learned from it and I grew from it. And, um, you know, I'm, I have another day. So I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I really wanted to share that with you guys because it's like, I think about it every day of my life, how I, I shouldn't even be here anymore. And what a divine blessing like that, that was in me. That was like, it definitely wasn't me because my actions were pushing me, you know, off the off off the the this earth you know and uh and then I was just I was just totally brought back to life and um yeah so a lot some of you guys might not have had experience like that some of you guys might have um but I'm sure all of you guys can find something in your life like someone touched you in a way that was just so like like where like like an angel came into your life and totally like changed the game for you, you know, and and said, "Hey, I believe in you. You've got it. You've got what it takes." It's just something simple like that, man, can totally just light you up and then and then and then give you permission to uh to do amazing things because that's all it takes. We just have to give ourselves permission. We all have it, you know. We all have the light.
we just got to tap into it. So yeah, I mean, I could, I could talk about this all day long. And I mean, I'm honestly just choking off just thinking about like, I'm like, I've lived countless lifetimes already. And I'm not, you know, I'm only 27. Like, I just want to, I just want to share what I've been given. And uh, so I, I hope that hits home for all you guys. You know, I know you guys are, you're into growing food at home and living right and being sustainable. But I think to be, uh, to be mentally, su- sustainable mentally and spiritually and emotionally, not just in the physical world, is just as important. And uh, I think with gratitude, um, that's the best route to, uh, to be sustainably happy. So I love all you guys. I hope you guys took, took, took something away from this and, um, feel free to reach out anytime. Um, I, I love, um, hearing from you guys and, and how, uh, this podcast is, um, helping you, affecting you, help, you know, helping, you know, you, uh, take action and uh, I hope you guys have a beautiful day and I uh, love you all. Until next time, let's create abundance together.